Hello everybody and welcome back to Barbarot Gaming. Today is Survivor Series. Just as a quick reminder, we have to do a Buried Alive match, so we will definitely select somebody for that. And then, actually, I don't think I renewed those contracts, so I should probably do that quickly. Why are you content, Hulk Hogan? I have been losing every week. Help. <laughs> Alright, so... I guess... Yeah, like I keep saying, there's really nobody I particularly want from the other brand at the moment. So let's just renew everybody for five more weeks. And... I think, yeah, Hulk Hogan was the only one that was content. So now, how are these doing? All good. So, let's go ahead and, since this is a joint pay-per-view, I don't get as many matches for some reason. It pre-selected them, because actually I didn't set those. So we're going to have to go ahead and change this around. They actually chose John Cena for the uh, Buried Alive match, but I think... Basically, I'm going to go ahead and do Kurt Angle because he's not really involved in anything. And they both have the same popularity, so this is a pretty even matchup. Match number three is going to be... Let's go ahead and do a... Hmm. I'm trying to think what I would want. Let's do an Iron Man match for... 30 minutes, and it will be Hulk Hogan versus Shawn Michaels. Obviously, I'm not playing that match. And then the first match will be a... Um, I never think these things out before I actually start, like, recording. <laughs> I think I've done pretty much, like, every match type at this point. Actually, I don't think I've ever done just, like, Steel Cage before, so let's go ahead and put Christian and Edge in that. I really gotta be careful with these two, because I'm gonna end up breaking somebody soon. And, um, okay, apparently for the Survivor Series pay-per-view, they were like, let's go ahead and put Eugene, Danny Basham, and Chavo Guerrero versus, like, Rob Van Dam, Carlito, and Sylvan Grenier. And, but it's an elimination tag, and it has tables. And then they literally did the same thing here, minus they got rid of the tables. So yeah, I think we are ready to go. Um, I'm going to play this one just to kind of show the... Okay, it is off already. To kind of, yeah, you know, do the cage match thing or whatever. I'm going to do random because I don't really know how to do cage matches. So uh, I guess it will be Christian. <laughs> And I'm going to just leave them both dirty because since it is in the cage, it'll probably help with momentum if they're dirty. And yeah. Alright, so here we are in the cage match Survivor Series. I should try actually hitting Edge rather than just punching the air a lot. And um, yeah, it's probably not that often that the first match in a pay-per-view is a World Heavyweight title match. But that's what today's event's going to be because the Legends had to be, like, the SmackDown main event. And then, of course, there's, like, tonight's uh, Raw vs. SmackDown main event. Oh, cool. You can actually, like, throw people into the cage. And it looks like it hurts them, like, a lot. So we're definitely going to have to do that a couple times if we want to win this thing. Wait, how do I do the... Okay, cool. I can do the turnbuckle thing. So it's like, I didn't want to fling you that way, but it probably gotta take advantage of our resources as much as we can. And can we do like more attacks on edge besides like throw them into the ground and that kind of stuff? Alright, I don't think I've ever done like uh, the circle attacks before really, because usually it just ends up being like a brawl. <laughs> Alright, and I got my special already, so I think, oh shit, I should probably lock it before I lose it, because his is uh, unprettier, so I gotta go behind edge in order to actually use it, although I like, because it later turned into the kill switch, or basically the name, so it's the same special, 
It's definitely, yeah, the kill switch is a better name for that than Unprettier. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. Yeah, it's probably not the last time we'll see these two face off. It could be, but I, I just have a feeling it's not Mr. Michael Cole. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> Alright. Okay, how do you, like, slap somebody in mid-air and then make them fall? Some of the, like, moves in this game don't always make common sense. Alright, all I want to do is just, like, use the unprettier, throw you out of- or not throw you out. I had the opportunity and I screwed it up. Oh, he reversed it, dick. I don't really know how to, um, let's try to climb the cage. Alright, it's square. Oh, okay. We gotta, like, press X. And, uh, yeah, he got up pretty quickly. But I didn't really knock him out or anything, so that doesn't really surprise me. He has a special now, so we gotta watch out and not get hit by that. But he's been pretty much... Ha, take that. <laughs> but Edge has been kind of like dominating this match, so uh, yeah, or I gotta, I don't know why I'd try it again when I knew that was just gonna happen. But um, he's gonna do Spear now, so uh, he's, he could win this thing because if I am not able to get up, he's probably gonna get out of the cage. I like that um, angle camera what uh camera angle because uh <laughs> that's the way you're supposed to say it but yeah that was cool but it looks like edge is the winner um i don't think i've won a single one of these like specialty matches yet except for maybe like the bar brawl <laughs> but it's all good because edge still gets to keep his title and then from there, we can decide if we still want to do Edge and Christian, or maybe Edge and somebody else. Who knows what direction I'm going to take this in, because I don't even know. Okay, that was that. Uh, I sucked ass, of course, because uh, I don't do good in many matches. Um, oh, they don't even play theirs until probably, like, afterwards. Uh, I'm not even going to bother. Shawn Michaels won. Sorry, Hulk. But, um, time for the main event. So, uh, okay, good. Like, they do turn entrances off. Not that it really matters, to be honest, because, like, I notice other people do put their entrance or do put the entrances in the videos, and I don't think it copyrights them or anything. So, yeah, time for Buried Alive. All right, so um, we start off by getting punched in the face, of course, because, well, yeah, it's John Cena, so he's, like, the mega superstar. And I think, yeah, um, rules are off and everything. But I've never actually played in one of these before, because normally in my uh, off-camera GM modes, I would just simulate this and hope that it would work out in the end. <laughs> So it'd be fun uh, playing this match. Something new. Although to be honest, I think yeah, the uh, a John Cena and Kurt Angle rivalry would have been pretty awesome. But I ended up like getting rid of John Cena week one because I attempted that uh, contract like thing, but it didn't exactly work out as much as I was hoping it would. But we got Batista, so he's, like, pretty good. Alright, um, I don't think this is gonna do too much. I was hoping he would do the, like, angle slam. But I think it's kind of like Christian's special where you gotta stand behind him. I'm gonna beat him with another chair. Or completely miss. And get another special. Ooh. Oh, he took it from me. Uh, I want to hit you with that. Jerk. Alright, double nut shot. That's, like, not really good. I think I'm, like, low on stamina already, so I'm gonna have to, like, make you go away so I can regain that. 
I'm gonna hit him with the chair. This is gonna be a real short match. Yeah, I have only hit him with the chair like 50 times, Taz. Take that. Oh yeah, and now we can do an angle slam. Which should hurt John Cena a lot. But um, although I don't know, or yeah, it probably does matter. But uh, we should probably go towards the casket so that we can actually bury John Cena alive. Or get caught up in his uh, arm lock thing. <laughs> I'm gonna run away. Chase me, John Cena. I'm up here. From where I sit, I haven't oh, you know what, I think, or, yeah, no, I, I really haven't played this match type before, but I think, yeah, we're allowed to, like, hit him with this shovel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, he's gonna, like, try to hurt me with it. You like being hit with the shovel. Oh, look, and there's, like, a tombstone to, I guess, like, identify... Somebody's going to get buried tonight, alive. Which, um, if you, like, never watched, like, old school WWE, they have actually done these types of matches. Obviously, they don't really kill the people, but... Because <laughs> I don't think that would uh, go over too well. I would hope it wouldn't, actually. But I know, I want to say it was, like... Undertaker and Randy Orton. It was so long ago. Really? Alright. John Cena, get over here. Alright. We got him, like, directly. Shit. I had him, like, in, but I think I was supposed to hit square. But instead, I hit circle. Yeah, everybody loves John Cena. So, oh wait, no, maybe, okay, yeah, it is circle, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so I just have to, it, it said tap any buttons repeatedly, so maybe I was supposed to not do that. Alright, tap it, oh, tap any button repeatedly. Oh, I get it, I'm supposed to make that bar go up. Is he thinking? If he's hurt, but I gave him a red chest now, so maybe we'll be able to do that quicker. John Cena, come here. Oh no, he took the shovel from me. I don't think it ever breaks either. That is not a fucking nice reversal. That is an annoying reversal that they do to me all the time. And these people, like, do it so much that uh, I couldn't even imagine how they feel oh wow all right i guess uh yeah all you have to do is just press the buttons a lot uh oh r oh but he was able to escape because i didn't hit r fast enough i think we might be looking at the future of the wwe all right so let's just go ahead and beat up john cena more i wanted to actually pick him up to go behind him to do the angle slam again which will hurt John Cena enough to where I can regain Stanima and try to throw him in the casket again get over here no I don't want to play like hands and nuts but uh <laughs> let's play throw John Cena into the casket tap the buttons repeatedly which luckily, since he's hurt, it goes up like really quickly. Close. Oh shit, he's still able to escape though. So basically, we probably have to put him like very red. Because there's uh, two parts to that. Kick you like that. Where's that shovel? Because that does a lot of damage too. John Cena, come here. He's just able to take it like every time. Sometimes it's easier to become right, champion. Now that he's on the ground. Come here, Cena. Oh my god! Someone's gotta stop this! Don't start getting I had him like cornered. Pain is the name of the 
I wonder how you steal the specials in this game, because I can, like, potentially do the FU to him, which, um, I, they call it attitude adjustment nowadays or whatever. I haven't watched WWE in such a long time. I want to say 2011, maybe, or 12. It was around the time that uh, CM Punk changed his theme song, The Cult of Personality. Wait, what is that? Oh, just the ankle lock. Um, is that even- it really didn't even damage him, that sucks. <laughs> but let's just go ahead and try to throw him in the casket again. Oh no. Oh, wait, oh, that's just another freaking thing. Why do I keep like- it's like, oh, what does this do? And it's like, it's just the angle slam. But it turned his, like, feet red, so now maybe we can, like, bury him alive. Damn, I have, like, so much momentum. Uh, can I just... Oh, he reversed. Right. Oh, he actually finally was able to get damage on me after this, like, whole time. But, uh, I want you to, uh, not try to punch me in the face. Cena, you're, like, almost, like red everywhere and now you're suddenly like gaining momentum which is kind of weird because um he actually uh was a lot easier to beat up than most of the people typically are <laughs> ha i was able to reverse that or not he needs stamina soon though, so... Damn. I don't know... Cena... Alright, I think... I don't know why he's suddenly like, Mega Man. But he's gonna make that noise. Oh no, what happened to John Cena? Ha, you get ankle slammed. You can't, like, uh, be distracted for two seconds, or else you, uh, lose that momentum. You can't and beat me up to make my head, like, puke orange. Okay, that looked like that wasn't supposed to happen that way, but it did, but then he reversed it anyway. Okay, I just need... To not get kicked in the ass so that we can throw you in the casket, which I did not aim the right way. They like know when you're gonna try to throw them in. Alright, we're about to approach. Yeah, we just approached 10 minutes on this thing. So this could be a long match because, like, I don't cut the main events down really. But hopefully, I think we should be able to end this thing soon. Just gotta press buttons a lot, and then uh, hold, uh, close the casket with R. He's still freaking escaped. I don't know, like, what we gotta do here to uh, make John Cena, like, buried alive. Especially since he has, like, literally no energy right now. And I think, yeah, literally the prize here is, like, 30th man in the Royal Rumble, so we gotta win this. Not only for that, but we need bragging rights, too. Am I hitting it too early, maybe? A textbook reversal. It is not textbook. I'm pretty sure, like, kicking people in the nuts is illegal in wrestling if you want to get technical. That was not the right way. He dodged that bullet. That is just like really getting old now. <laughs> wow, he tripped. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to Yeah, do. this whole game is unpredictable, Michael Cole. Just sit back and enjoy the How many times can we like 
Ooh. You know, I don't think you can keep going for much longer after taking that much punishment. Um, I guess we're gonna do that. <laughs> I want to pick you up. I don't want to play slap hands. A physical match like this, and not wind up feeling the effects, and that's what we're starting to see right here. All I want to do is like throw him, but he keeps doing these like freaking uh, like submission type moves. Crit angle, come on. Why? Yeah, now my face hurts, so it was like I was gonna be able to throw him into the casket, but he had to like sit there and whine about his head being in pain. Alright, I gotta spam the buttons. Oh shit, he's actually able to get me in. Am I gonna like lose the match after all this like effort? I guess so. I pressed X. Um, so yeah, after all that, I cannot win freaking main event matches no matter what. What a brutal match, and the loser has paid the ultimate Here's your winner. Yeah, of course John Cena won. And they're gonna bury Kurt Angle. Oh no. <laughs> I, I can't get over that though like um all right i guess if that counts as buried alive it's, the casket's not even like fully buried so yeah after all that uh john cena won because i suck <laughs> anyway let's see how the pay-per-view shit that probably means uh no good i still got the fans yay and a lot of them too and all right, John Cena laid the opponent to rest in the Buried Alive match and earned Raw the number 30 entry into the Royal Rumble. No one has seen or heard from Kurt Angle at all. It would not be the first time that a superstar has mysteriously vanished after a Buried Alive. So that means Kurt Angle's gonna be away. I broke Shawn Michaels, which I guess was because of that uh, Iron Man. But let's see, okay, luckily it's just a minor injury so oh concussion for one week so luckily that will be pretty easy to heal and the aftermath raw one uh Kurt angle is gone and yeah shit i don't know what Kurt angle's like contract situation was though i almost just hiccuped but yeah that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed my pay-per-view Thank you for watching and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and have a very wonderful day. Goodbye.